This is an excerpt from a conversation with Emil Jacobs, Yuan Li, and Nathan Lewis, moderated by Andrew Revkin, brought to you by the Chemical Heritage Foundation's annual TT Chow Symposium. Uh, Dr. Lewis, Nate, so uh, you, you, you've been one of the more enthusiastic people I've ever met in covering the sciences, and so what, what's the source of your enthusiasm? Uh, there are a couple of events. One is just curiosity, just wanting to know why things change color, love blowing up stuff. <laughs> it was fun to figure out why and get it to work even bigger the next and have your mom yell at you to do it again. So that was one. Then I, like everyone in this uh, panel, had a great science teacher. In my case, actually, it was in college. And I didn't know if I wanted to do physics or math or chemistry, but I had a wonderful, fun, and interesting chemistry teacher. And so I went into that, and then I got hooked when I got into lab, because chemists make new things. So I made a compound as my first year in college that no one had ever made before, and I held it in the air in a little bottle, and I was the only person on Earth that ever had that stuff. I got to name it. I got to figure out what color it was. I got to figure out whether or not it was good for anything or just going to sit on the shelf. But when you can kind of own something totally new and figure out what it can do and how it can help have properties that can make the world potentially better, that hooks you. Uh, 